today I'm going to show you guys my finally completed project of how I mess proofed my whole bird cage, my whole bird area. I'm telling you, this is so life changing. It's like, it's amazing. It's, I no longer have to vacuum 500 times a day. And yeah, it's made a huge, huge difference. So I'm gonna show you the thing I built around my bird cage and my play stand to mess proof my bird area. This is what it's like having a bird. You guys are very, very messy. I was originally gonna put my bird cage and my play stand into one tray like this, but it actually turned out to be far better keeping it separate. And they like to fly from here to there to there and back again. <laughs> so I'll start with my play stand. I basically just got this pine, it's unpressure treated bird safe pine and of course you know, I just put it together and Home Depot actually cut these to the measurements I specified and then this white thing was a huge 8 by 10 foot solid piece which I had to cut to you know put it inside this little tray thing I built and this white kind of material I used is a plastic polycarbonate and it's super easy to clean because it has this very nice, slick, slippery kind of uh, feel to it. So nothing sticks to it. It's just so easy to wipe clean and it always looks brand new and white and it, it's amazing. I love this thing. So for the bird cage, I made it quite a bit larger than the play stand because the bird cage is significantly messier. It's just made a huge difference. And then to mess proof my actual bird cage. Of clear acrylic. This is kind of hard to see because it's, you know, see through. But I made the side solid here because when they're up here, they're, they tend to flick stuff and it would fly through here and it would end up all over my living room floor. But since I made all the sides, this is solid. This catches quite a bit of the debris. So here's a better view of, see how it's solid here and all this is now solid. Or as before, you know, it was all open. Oh, <laughs> hi guys. <laughs> and of course on the sides, this is actually mesh. This is kind of harder to film than I thought it would be. But I put mesh here, so this is solid. And there's mesh here too. Geraldine, you're in the way. And these are some clear, clear acrylic sheets, as is this one. And down here, because I like my cage to be as airy as possible, I didn't want to make the sides completely solid, so this mesh here is just pure nylon. And you know, this thing is so messy. When they're chewing on this, it would be coming out all over my floor, all over my living room. And then I attach these acrylic sheets here. Of course, this is not supposed to be a separate piece. This whole thing is supposed to be one solid piece. So I'll have to change it one day. But yeah, this is just kind of a, a I kind of messed this one up. <laughs> and then I just used, you know, zip ties to secure it and then I put mesh on the bottom again because I don't want to put the whole thing here to be solid I want it to get you know good air circulation and down here this is mesh which is you know mess proof this whole area and when they eat here this produces a lot of mess it just flies all over the place so I put some mesh here which prevents all the mess coming out all over my floor and of course, on this side, this whole side of the cage, I basically just put a giant sheet of acrylic, which is preventing all the mess from just, you know, spewing out from everywhere, because I'm telling you, birds are so messy. And then on the very bottom, I put a screen down here, because stuff, when it would 
when it would fall from up there or down there, it would ricochet and it would literally fly out from there. And right here, I, I cut, I used a Dremel and I cut it to the correct size to make this size, size solid because again, when this stuff would all be flying there, it would literally bounce and ricochet and it would be flying out of here all over the place. So making the sides solid on all four, four sides has made a tremendous difference. So the great thing about it is it, you know, if you look at the cage from a distance, you can't even see the modifications I made, but I spent hours and hours modifying and tweaking this cage to make it basically mess proof. I mean, of course, it's not 100% mess proof, but the difference, I cannot even put it into words what a huge difference this has made. And the tray, oh my gosh, I wish I had done this years ago. <laughs> and I ended up building these two trays myself because, you know, originally I was gonna use uh, eight by 10 foot, you know, huge, planks of wood, but since I cut it down to smaller sizes and separated my birdcage for my play stand, it was something I could actually put together myself, which was a huge plus and also, you know, save me money in the process. And as you can see, I just, I literally clean this last night before I go to bed. I always, always clean their cage before I go to bed. So this was spotless this morning. And as you can see, birds are messy to say the least. And thankfully, this, this is a lifesaver itself. The seat catcher, that catches a, a quite a bit of the stuff. And then of course, what else ends up bypassing that shield, the tray catches like 98% of it, so. And the size of the tray, I made it about seven inches high on both sides and for everything I used, of course, like I said, bird safe wood and bird safe screws, so. Cuckoo Nut, you like your place, Dan? Yeah, now you can make a mess. Yes, you can, you can make a mess. <whistles> Let's see the damage they've done. Someone's been eating cashews and sunflower seeds. So here's my finished play stand that I, that I modified. And here's another play stand. This is our outdoor play stand, which is currently in process of being modified. So, so far I've installed a bird bath for them and some perches. This has quite a bit more work that needs to be done before it's uh, complete. But yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely in love with this because, you know, I am a, a self-confessed major clean freak. Of course, now it's kind of hard to tell because my condo is in really bad condition. You know, the, the tiles have to be torn up. The tiles all are stained and chipped and um, so everything looks kind of um, a little icky. But it's just amazing because I no longer have to vacuum. I used to vacuum like 500 times a day. And now I'm telling you, I, I very rarely have any seeds or any kind of crap on my floor. And if I do, it's just so easy for me to just do a quick vacuum around the two little areas because now my birds know that this is their designated area and they don't really go all over my house anymore because they're kind of obsessed with this play stand I semi-built, modified for them. So it's great, it's like a win-win. They're happy, I'm happy, <laughs> so. Yes, you like it? Yes. Don't show how happy you are. <laughs> Jody likes to dance. Geraldine, is it Christmas time? Do you know it's not December anymore? Do you know that, Geraldine? Do you know? So I guess that means Geraldine 
gives his approval of this little modification I completed. <laughs> this is actually hands down the best modification I've ever done in my entire life. It's, I'm telling you, if your bird's nest is driving you as nuts as it was me, <laughs> give this a shot. It's, it's a life changer. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. And if you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. A long, long time ago This is the time of the apocalypse The dream of the last thing